back on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Scene. He is a rapper, an entrepreneur, record producer, and lastly, a certified freak. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It is P. Diddy. P. Diddy is probably one of the most influential people back in the 90s. He was he was popping, okay? In 1993, you're talking about the guy who founded Bad Boy. You know, he fostered in some talent. Like, you know, Faith Evans and Mace. And, you know, last but not least, Biggie. If you don't know who Biggie is... You know, we were all jamming to it on this car game back in the day when, you know, people were like, you know, making cars and stuff like that. And we were racing at the end. You know what I'm saying? Look, Biggie and Diddy, weird name combination, Biggie and Diddy, but they were, they were really close. Like, they were like this tight knit. And you know, every time you saw Biggie, you saw Diddy. That is, hey, the foreshadowing is crazy. Every time you saw Biggie, you saw Diddy. And we were all like, man, these two are about to run wild, okay? They about to go crazy in the hip-hop industry. Because back in the day, mind you, I wasn't born. I was born in 2001. So I, I don't know what was going on. But before then, you know, people were talking about like, yo, hey, this was like Batman and Robin. You know, Batman was was big though robin was diddy because diddy didn't really you know do anything but other than that you know everybody said like you know they had it on lock they had all the music everything was going there they went head to head with tupac that's when you know hey it was getting serious and all that changed once uh you know biggie got killed you know it, it was just it was it was really like it was sad like took away all that potential like we literally didn't get to see anything nothing literally nada like it was mm. so diddy literally came out and made a song in 1997 called we'll be missing you was plastered all over the top 100 he was already like he was popping like everybody was like man he made the song because biggie his long lost friend not long lost friend but his f- friend passed away hey and he was going crazy he even started dabbling in fashion acting um did i say fashion fashion and acting i bet y'all it's my first time and he won a couple of grammy awards and he if you were coming up if you were young and you would remember Sean John and the Ciroc Vodka always being in the music videos, that was Diddy, bro. So, like, you would think, like, everything he's doing, you know, like, what could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. This guy named Lil Rod or Rodney Jones uh, alleges that Diddy and his son and most of the people that work with him were a part of these acts, these acts of either A, violence, B, um, just doing, uh, I don't want I, you to please, please, you're making this hard. They were, they were, they were using, they, they were doing, uh, Doug's, using Doug's, we're gonna rock with that, and basically supply this to everybody that came down to the house, Lil Rod saw this, and Lil Rod was like, yo, this ain't right, mind you, Diddy is, like, very powerful, so, he didn't want to really say anything, which makes sense, understandable. So Diddy, you know, would have these big parties and all these people would come by and this man would have freak offs. Oh, you think I'm playing? No, they're literally in the thing. It's called a freak off. Like, I really, I'm not lying. You would have freak offs. 
and it'll be these girls that are you could tell they're underage but yet it would happen and they said these drinks were dugged yeah 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 they were dugged and they basically you know it would lead to other acts it was bad you know this is not a good sign this is terrible if you're diddy and you just got raided yo and they're talking about racketeering and stuff like that yo hey buddy (laughs) you might be done it might be over you got motown you got universal music group umg if y'all know what that is love records it's bad like it's bad like in and to know that there are other people involved like like his son like that's crazy young miami um his his head his head people like it's insane like people who just turned their head away like this is a bad um it's a bad look okay um when you got people coming out of nowhere, you got Meek Mill on Twitter talking about some. He ran red lights to show that he's not gay. Um, a and they and people speculated that they had a whole relationship, Diddy and Meek Mill. Oh, yo, yeah, bro. Like you're doing a good job of letting everybody know y'all didn't do nothing. But hey, that's just the theory, a life theory. Really bad. It's really sad to see how, you know, the entertainment industry is, like, crumbling, literally, before our eyes. And to know that this dude, after literally seeing what happened to Jeffrey Epstein, you literally go out here and you say, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. Bro, are you serious? I swear, when people get money, man, the moral compass just gets thrown out the window. But yeah, literally, I'm going to leave the link of the story of the of the whole all the paperwork in the link below. Um and let me know if y'all like videos like this. I'm basically going to start doing videos like this so y'all can like check it out and be like, "You know what?" Hey, I'm just here to see some some information that I don't know of or whatever. And y'all could just let me know what it is. But yeah, this was trying to explain the Diddy situation in under 10 minutes. And yeah, that's it. Peace. This is. <laughs> I always wanted to do that.